ready for the next bit and I haven't got I've got this bit cut but nothing else um what I have done oh, is make this really really heavy um Okay, so I've put on my piece of paper, uh, backing paper here, with the gap here. I think I said that already. And what I've done is I've measured the gap in between, and mine is ooh, seven and seven eighths, and then, and then obviously measured it down, and it's ten and a half. Taken off uh, a quarter of an inch, and then cut the paper to size so this one was cut at seven and five eighths by ten and a quarter no yes I think anyway however much you gap you want so, and that will be my base page here this part here um, once again, I measured the gap I had, put my piece of paper in, and what I'm having here is just this. And all this is, is once again, I took off a uh, quarter of an inch from the measurements, top and bottom, which gave me a one eighth of an inch gap all the way around. I punched um, the holly punch into the corners. And then I also punched uh, the scallop edge. The scallop edge? No. The, is it called a ticket stub edge? Anyway, I punched the edges in. Then I punched a couple of, uh, I layered this with a little bit of red cardstock in the corner because I didn't want to waste a whole piece of cardstock just for the corners. So I just used some scraps, covered corners, uh, punched a couple of holes, put some copper coloured eyelets in and then got two pieces of ribbon together and tied it and basically I wanted it left plain because obviously I'm going to have um, large tags in here and I didn't want anything here to interfere with it so I thought this way if I wanted to hang some charms off there I could or a tag I could put a pocket on here if I wanted or just put a photograph on there or just leave it plain so that's what's going there um, you know pretty basic I'm not going to do much there back to this bit so I measured it I've cut it and that's all ready for me to use so let's get this book <laughs> closed and back over there okay so it's gonna be quite a basic page so the first thing is this piece which is ten and a quarter by six and three quarters and I've scored it on the ten and a quarter inch side at three quarters no I haven't that's not three quarters that's seven eighths so I must have oh no <laughs> I did it at nine and a half there we go not a very good measurement so Basically, you want a nine and a half inch uh, piece with a hinge flap on one side. Then, this is an A4 piece, so it's eight and a quarter. And by, now I think I cut this down, yes I did, by eleven and a quarter. And I scored it in three quarters of an inch on each side, so I scored it in at three quarters of an inch and then seven and a half inches on the eight and a quarter inch side and then on the eleven and a quarter inch side I scored it at five and five eighths so I can fold that in half and it's even right for this next bit now this is going to be a bit different it is eleven and five eighths because it was an A4 length of an A4 sheet by six and three quarters but Here's the thing. On this, this is going to be a flap that comes down, and it has to be a certain length because I'm going to have a magnet on it. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this flap to here and my magnet's going to be on the bottom of this flap so if you're not going to have that extra bit I would suggest cutting two pieces of paper separately um, if you've only got A4 obviously if you've got you know, 12 might not be long enough um, but yeah so I would cut uh, one at seven and score it at uh, six and a half and then one at I do two the same possibly and then you can cut a decorative edge in one anyway for me because I'm using this extra bit which is going to give me an extra roughly um, maybe an inch and a half onto here you're going to want another flap you, you're going to want that extra inch and a half length if you're not going to add an extra bit on the bottom oh gosh I hope I explained that okay okay so on my six and a half six and three six and three quarters by eleven and five eighths I have scored it at four and three quarters and five and a quarter so that's that I mean you could just use this one piece and take your score lines over and use it the other way around mm. okay right <clears throat> what I'm going to do is This is my decorative paper for the back. This is going here. This is going to be attached here as a pocket, so that's why this is here. And this is going to be attached at the top. Let's get this the right way around, like so. So it's going to be flat pocket flap, which is why it's all works out at six and three quarter inches so the only things I have to do are cutting wise is on this piece all I want to do is find my scissors <laughs> scissors they do cracky they're big scissors right I'm going to mitre in from one flap to the middle score line and then take off these bits here so the reason I turn my ruler over by the way is because although this sponge bit here does give you that extra little bit of grip it also lifts the ruler up just that tiny bit and I've got a terrible habit of slipping my knife underneath that little gap and cutting my paper crooked which is why I use my ruler upside down because then it's definitely flat to the surface, flat to the paper okay right, and I want to mitre my top edges So that's right and what I want to do now is on one side and I think it's going to be it doesn't matter which side on one side I'm going to have a decorative edge put in so I'm going to stop and I'm going to do that now before I glue everything together because I like to do my decorative edges first so I have my paper cut I'm going to put in my decorative edge and then I'll be back Okay, from my decorative to edge, I'm now ready to put this page together. So the first thing I want to do is add some tape to here. So I can find the end of my tape. And try not to put it on wobbly. <laughs> Okay. 
put my to these edges. underneath one first where I have them overlapped. this pocket together first. Right, I'm going to line up this pocket to this, the bottom where the score line is. Make sure it's nice and straight. And then just fold this flap up and stick it on there. do what I should have done first and glue this pocket down. I think I'm just going to use glue on here because these are quite big flats so that should hold. Having a decorative, if you're not having this extra an extra bit on the bottom, probably the easiest thing to do would be to put this on, fold it at the first goal line going across for the long flap, and put the shorter flap underneath. Okay, if you are having an extra bit here, do it the other way round, so that the shorter flap is up. So, what I'm going to do is, in between those score lines, I'm going to add a line of tape. down so I can see what I'm doing. Take off my tape backing, add my glue. So you could do this in two separate flaps and not have this border bit here. I just wanted to use up one piece of paper and not have lots and lots of layers just this one right and I'm going to line this to the very top because obviously I have this upside down so line it to the top make sure it's straight and pop that down so what I have then is this flap with the double score lines here then this will come up this will come down and of course I'm going to have a bit here so this will hold down with a magnet and I'm having this here. Ooh, not quite straight, I'm not happy with that. So I'm just going to That's better. <laughs> 
okay um i did ha originally have flaps on this i was going to have this as a full size pocket but obviously it looks a bit messy at the top then the only way i could do it was to cut holes in the paper and put it through the paper and so i'm not going to do that i'm going to i am going to have it as a pocket so i'm just going to put tape around the edges and i'm going to use this one which is um looks like caution no it is three eighths of an inch wide so it's three eighths of an inch wide uh, the flap so the pocket is going at the bottom the flap is going at the top so my gap if i'm making this a pocket has to be on here i'm just going to go around the edges with the tape two lines at the bottom because I don't need this to be a hugely deep pocket it's just a little pocket just about a little extra something so I'm going to put two lines of tape here just to give it that extra little bit of stick to the page okay so this is going on here but I'm going to put on my papers first and this is going over the top and I have cut out two of these or well, I've backed it onto a card and I cut out two I've, they're two exactly the same and I know this is not going to line up exactly but it's almost right and that's good enough for me so yeah but I've got to put the papers on first so I shall put my dextra papers on, stick this, well, okay, I'm going to put my dextra papers on and then I'll be back. Right, ready to put this bit together. So I've <coughs> got my magnet in, it's all decorated. The only other thing I've done is just in between this strip and this bit of uh, decorative paper I put a slit so that gives me just an extra little bit of a pocket inside should I want it so you can see I've just gone over with sellotape and I put the piece of decorative paper on first then I split it and then I put the rest of it on uh, <coughs> and the tape is there just to make sure it doesn't split it just gives it an extra little bit of strength and hopefully the double sided sticky tape each side should stop that ripping out any further so let's get it on I have marked out with a pencil line roughly where my pocket should go because essentially this is one big pocket so I'm going to take off my backing of my tape, make sure that's not sticking out at the sides, my double layer at the bottom, a bit of extra glue, so I've got my wiggle room. place this down without having to reposition it every two minutes <laughs> almost <laughs> looks about right so let's squish that down Thank <laughs> you. 
and then this is ready to go into the book. I've already got my tape on the back there, get the backing off of it. Of course when I made this paper I have to bear in mind that although these magnets aren't flush to the top of the page, and there was a bit of a gap there because of the layering it wouldn't have probably been very wise for me to have magnets on either side of this page which is why I designed it to have a magnet in the middle rather than at the sides so it doesn't interfere with my back page there my last page page 10 <laughs> right so that is the back page done I'm also going to put in my little edge piece here And I am seriously thinking about putting a pocket on it, so but we shall see. <coughs> Obviously a pocket is always something I can add later on if I want to. we go. So next all I have to do is the tags and mats and then it's done. I'm not going to do the tags and mats now, I'm going to do them later. So there we go. Back cover inside, all complete. Get that bit of glue off. <laughs> Quite a simple one but quite nice with that little extra secret pocket there. Get a piece of paper. There is a secret pocket in there. There it is. <laughs> so that would be a pocket and then you have that there as well. All complete. anything else I've done. Oh, I've put in all my little um, motifs here. Um, they're on every page now, so I have them on here. They're inside on these ones, I do believe. 
oh yeah all the way over there <gasps> on this bit here and I've left the top of that one there that open this book's getting very hard to maneuver now <laughs> has one and I have them here for the ghost of Christmas past and present they've already in so that's it all done this one of course at the back is a lot bigger and I would have liked the English spelling English UK spelling but it's the American spelling of honor but that's okay it says I will honor Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all through the year keep it all the year which is a quote from the the book by Charles Dickens obviously. So next one, mats and tags and then it'll be done. I'm going to quite miss doing this one I think. <laughs> I won't miss having to wake it up and down all the time though. It's, it is getting very seriously heavy. So, oh and this has come up again. I'll have to put that back on. My little chest has come off. <laughs> But there we go. Back page is done. Tags and mats to do. And then we're done. Bye for now.